Okay, I had a request to explain how to uh, make the audio audible. Um, people have been using Cubase with their uh, sound card. I'm using a Tascam 122L. Yeah, I'm assuming you've got that plugged into the USB port. It's otherwise working. You're getting a track recorded like we just done here. This track that I just recorded earlier. Um, so your, your card is obviously working and at the output of your card there's a, a line output and there's also a headphones output. Make sure one or the other is connected so that you can hear the output on the playback. So I'm assuming you've got all that in and then so when you play back you should hear your track. So that, that's the track. Now, if you don't hear the track it could be this. You go to your device drop down menu devices go to device setup and if you co go to the uh, VST audio system it should have on the ASIO driver which is right here a selection all the different options um, multimedia driver is the one that's actually inside the PC and then at the bottom you'll see and on my computer anyway it says US 122L. Well, that's the sound card I'm using, and that's the one I should select. Okay, so make sure that's selected. Uh, it'll say, Do you want to switch? Just say switch. Okay, then don't change any other settings. You only start messing with all this other stuff down here, like normal priority and disk preload time and lower latency if you're having problems with multi tracking. Um, I'll go into that on another lesson, but for a few tracks that you're going to do, let's say four or five tracks, you should never have to touch these, depending on the speed of your computer. Now, if you select the next button down under VST Audio System, there's another button which uh, says the US 122L, or if you've got the US 144, um, that's the actual sound card, the Tascam sound card. So it's the control panel for the sound card, and it says... Uh, it, it gives you a bit of information here. The input is US122L uh, left and right, and the output is US122L left and right, which is good. That's what you want. And over here it says visible. Yes, they're all selectable, so you can make it um, visible or invisible. I'm not going to deselect it. And then it's active, so that means it, it's running and working okay. So you should be able to hear your sound. Now, if after checking that you don't hear your sound, go to the con the uh, control panel on your PC, click control panel, and up comes your menu. I'm using Windows Vista, so you want to go to your hardware and sound setup. Click the hardware and sound setup, and in there you go to the sound um, management. Now, this remember, this is Windows Vista, so it could be different on, on different versions of Windows, like XP and so on. But you want to manage your audio devices, so click that, okay, and up comes your other window. In this case, here it is. It says here you've got speakers, which are the high uh, definition audio speakers that come with the PC, and usually that's what's selected for playback and recording. Uh, sorry, forget recording, we'll come back to that. For playback, it's showing you the speakers. Uh, that are in the PC. Now you don't want those um, because you you may not hear your recording if, if you have those selected. So you want the one, the speakers of the Tascam card. So that's the speakers that you would plug into the Tascam card um, or your headphones. It could be your headphones that you're plugging in. So you would select that and then click at the bottom set as default and you notice the tick mark change from speakers at the top See that green tick mark changed to speakers um, for the Tascam. So now you know it's good. Then once you've set those as default, you say OK. Now before I leave this, I'm just going to show you the recording button. Again, people sometimes don't get it running because they've got the microphone of the PC selected as default. You see that there? You want to, again, you want to select the line in from the Tascam as your default if you're using the Tascam card for recording. So click OK. Now you know you've got playback on the speakers of the Tascam and recording on the uh, from the line input of the Tascam. Then whatever microphone you've got plugged into the Tascam, providing it's correctly configured, 
um, and, and you've got your volume level switched up, you should be able to hear it. Record and play back correctly. So I hope this helps you. Thanks for listening.